What's up guys? It's Azaran here and we are back for our week two of the TISA coverage. We have a team builder for my match versus Jernsey. Um his team his team is, is interesting actually. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone so I can memorize it by heart and I build for these things long, long, like way way earlier because like honestly as soon as i'm done with my match from the previous week i literally build for the next team and then just like forget it so we'll take a look at his roster now <laughs> so jernsey i mean you can see it on your screen i'm sure but jernsey right now is rocking i know he has a rampartus as his mascot Magirna, Dragonite, Mantine, Alolan, Marowak, Crocodile, Dragalge, Verizion, Mega Alakazam, Avalok, and Audino. So, we got threatening team. Magirna and Dragonite are big threats. Um, but if there's one thing you can notice by my team, or by his team, is he gets throttled by Dugtrio. Absolutely throttled. Like, absolutely manhandled by Dugtrio. Like, seriously. Rampardos dies to it. Magirna should die to it with a little bit of prior chip damage. Even Dragonite provided it's not e-speeding. Marowak dies to it. Like, Dragalge dies to it. Verizion dies to it with Aerial Ace. Megazam goes down with Sucker Punch. And Mantine goes down with Edge. So that's why I'm running here. My nice Life Orb. Dugtrio, Life Orb with Earthquake, Aerial Ace, Sucker Punch, and Stone Edge. Earthquake is for Rampardos, Magirna, Alolan, Marowak, Dragalge, which is like at least a third of his team. Aerial Ace is for Verizion, Sucker Punch is for Megazam, and Stone Edge is for Alolan, Marowak. <coughs> and maybe even uh, the Avalog if it's within range of what I need. So I only made it enough speed so it could outrun base 108s, which is one, which is one, um, 346. Actually, let's let's check. Let's let's make sure. Let's make sure. Yeah, we have right here. I did a lot of calcing for this builder because his team is actually a little bit threatening on paper. So yeah, 346. So my Dark Trio has um, 347 speed, just enough to outspeed that. So now we can move on to our second mon here, which is Klefki. Klefki is rocking a fig figgy berry here, and he's a Spadef. Max Spadef Klefki would play rough. Um. Basically, he, he, this is my crook counter because with Magna Rise, crook can only knock it off and then I can just hit it back with play rough. I got spike support here so that I can immediately pressure his team, like pressure the Avalog to come out, rapid spin, or try to deal damage to me. Um, Thunder Wave to stop like a Dragonite sweep to stop even a Shift Gear Magirna sweep. Um, even, and a Mega Alakazam sweep is also something it can stop. Spadef is mainly for Mega Alakazam, and Figgy Berry allows it a little bit more longevity versus Mega Alakazam, but it can also work as my counter to Crocodile. But I feel like I have other answers to Crocodile, um, so I don't. I, I would like to use something else. Now we have um, Haxorus, because once again I keep emphasizing that Dragonite is a giant threat, so I have enough speed on this Haxorus to outspeed the Scarf Crocodile. But this is mainly the way I'm going to deal with Dragonite. It also has enough speed to outspeed a Jolly Dragonite, Max Speed Dragonite. At plus one, it can live in E-Speed. And it will be able to knock it out with Dragon Claw Slash Outrage. But not. But the thing is, I have to play around with the Magirna, which would be annoying. But that's the thing, if Dugtrio traps and kills Magirna, then there is nothing stopping me from just spamming Dragon Moves, spamming Outrage, and just running through his team. Scarf is also able to outspeed Megazam, it's able to outspeed Verizion, and I don't know if it outspeeds Rock Polish or Rampardos, but but I don't really think he's going to bring that. So, we'll go to the next Mon here. Our, this is probably like a lead slash, this is like a lead slash lure Mon right now. This is a Nidoqueen with Shookaberry. This is, a, yeah, it's a Nidoqueen with Shookaberry. It's got sheer force, but it's on the physical side. Because if you notice, a lot of his um, mons actually have higher spadef than like defense, such as Mantine. Um, Crocodile is an exception, but it gets blown away by Earthquake nonetheless. Dragalge has a fuck ton of spadef. Um, Mega Zam has a bunch of spadef. Like 
typically Magirna's run like more, there's an assault vest set, so just in case. We've got physical, max attack, max speed. This is able to outrun something, probably. I don't remember what this is supposed to outrun. I'll figure it out as the battle goes off. Thunder Punch for Mantine, Earthquake for Dragalge, and everything with Drug Trio is not able to trap. Stealth Rock for our very critical hazards. Ice Punch for Dragonite. But uh, Sugar Berries it lets me live a hit from Dragonite. Lets me live a hit from Rampardos, a, a nice Earthquake from them. Even from Crocodile too, because like, cause the priority is for me to get my rocks up. My priority here is to get rocks up and then just hit back and prevent him from defogging. So if I'm able to like ice punch the crook and like live a hit after I set up rocks, that'd be great. So moving right along, I don't know if I actually want to change this. Maybe I'm having second plus. Maybe I should just go up with straight up power. But the thing is, Marowak also can carry ground move, and then I can KO it back with earthquake. So Sugar Bear I feel is great because there's a lot of earthquaking mods that need a queen could could take tank hits for, and I don't want to re rely too heavily on my Magnet Rise Clefty and my Zapdos, which is my next mon, as my only ways of um, being immune to ground. And now with the Zapdos, we got Roost, Discharge, Heat Wave, and U-Turn. It's a pretty standard set. Discharge is to get some Paras in there. Heat Wave is for Magirna. It is Spadef. It is spadef as fuck. Um, it has enough speed to outspeed... Um, Mantine, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what this is out to outspeed, but it's designed to outspeed something. Once again, I think I might change this to fully defensive, because fully, fully Spadef Zapdos is able to tank any, like, is able to deal with any Magirna set, like Sans a Combined Ice Beam variation. I think that's too specific. That's too specific, and especially consisting the, considering the makeup of my team, I don't think he would, like, bring Combine Ice Beam, because my team is pretty fast and will hit hard before he's ready to set up. And the final, the final mon on our team, the crux of our team here, Mega Gardevoir, Psyshock is able to KO um, Dragalge on the defensive side. Hyper Voice is just a great stab move to spam and just obliterate everything else that Psyshock doesn't hit. Shadow Ball is there for the little Marowak, so I can get pretty guaranteed KO on it. It's also, this thing also hits from Magirna, which is good. Um, and that's honestly about it. Then Healing Wish is here. It just gives one of these mons a second life. Like I said, the Needle Queen may burn its berry and then all the ground users are gone. The Needle Queen can just clean sweep and come in with its natural bulk and like hard hitting attacks. So Zapdos could even have the second life. So Healing Wish is always great. It's a nice support move. So I can give a mon second life. And since Dugtria does so well, I can just conserve it. And that would be really good for my team. So the main strategy of this team is get up hazards. Um, get up hazards and the thing is he is forced he would be forced um, to defog the hazards away um, since his only hazard removal is Mantine so I think that it will be good to pressure him with hazards so he'll be forced to defog and I can get momentum off of that so yeah that's what my team consists of for week two hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time for the battle versus Jersey peace